Welcome to Fans of Sport. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment. Mamelodi Sundowns played their first game in the Betway Premiership against Super Sport United yesterday. And they won that game by two goals to nil. On Saturday, they were playing their first game of the CAF Champions League against Mbabane Swallows. They won that game by four goals to nil. This is what Coach Mangoba Mnuti said after Super Sport game. Uh, we knew Super Sport is not going to be an easy team. We, we knew their strengths, mainly their set pieces, uh, their second ball situations and their transitions. I was even talking to the players. I said, this game is very close to the game of Mbabane because Mbabane also poses the same threats, very strong on set pieces very good on transition and uh, has a lot of speed <clears throat> to come out but there is not much play in the midfield so we we tried we could have scored in the first minute unfortunately it was not to be i think we, we were not ruthless enough first half uh, which le which left a scare because it looked like maybe it's going to be a long day but uh, second half, I think we improved. Our creative zone became stronger because we saw the space in front of the three centre backs behind the two midfielders, which is why we decided to go with a lot of creative players uh, all at once to try and maybe just inject a little bit more energy and creativity in our attacking play, uh, which paid off immediately. And then we we still got more chances after that and we did not take. That is my only concern that we we are closer to achieving an objective of creating a lot of chances. Uh, everybody here will know it's, it's not easy to create a chance against a team like Supersport. Supersport is one of the stingiest teams in the league. But uh, for, our, for our boys to, to come out the way they did, it was really encouraging. My only concern is that Probably we, we are not ruthless enough. We, if you were to check our race chart in the map in the in, in, our, in the games that we are playing, you check our hit, our passing maps and our passing networks. You 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 see that we are doing a lot of positive things. But uh, when they don't translate late into a number of goals, it it always causes you problems. Thank you. <coughs> Good evening, Coach Karawo Pasha here. Uh, Coach, I mean, you speak about bringing in more creative players. Timber Zwani as well. He comes in, he does what he does. Uh, to some football supporters, one might say it's, it's, it's an injustice to football not to start such a player tactically, you know, operating at a high vanguard. Why is he not starting football matches, Coach? What exactly is the problem for him not to start? Because I think uh, with that, to some extent, try that in his career. Why is he not starting football matches when he performs like that? And I'm sure you see. <coughs> With recently? Yeah, no, it's a very good question. It's a very good question. I don't think there is a problem. Is there any thought that there is a problem? Because we we have to periodize our players, our most important players. We've got six competitions to play in, and it is very important for us to make sure that we don't ban our 34 year old very early in the season and it's it's very important and it's something that is going to happen up until maybe you start to look at it as a problem but there's no problem he understands he understands how many games we are going to play this season and if we we go for 90 minutes with Temba every match at 34 how far will he go in this season and for me in our periodization i think it's very important to to make sure that we take care of sundowns not your your wishes and aspirations, but sundowns. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, here. I was going to ask a similar question um, around Mshishi, but maybe I was going to say, um, in terms of the variation of how you would like to use him, um, because I see after you brought him on in terms of uh, the, the number of chances that were created, uh, because in the first half I felt maybe the service was not better also to someone like Ipis as well. He could have scored in the first minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, in terms of 
is, is it about because I think in the previous game against it's periodization. Yeah, yeah. So there are games where you will pre, you will start. He started game. against Stellenbosch. Yes, yes. That's, so that's. That Can we get another question? Coach, so there is this, uh, and I don't know if it does affect the player, this criticism then that goes to Lucas Ribeiro, where sometimes he would try to maybe move in a bit and try to score, and then he would be accused mostly from fans for being a bit selfish. But today the opportunities were one would think maybe he could have taken more shots, but he chose to pass. How do you balance that, or how do you try to get him to, to balance that way? Because he gets into positions where he can score more, but sometimes he just chooses to pass when the feeling is he could have maybe went for goal. And then on Aseko, uh, so he's got you know some good aggression for, for someone a bit small, you know, very aggressive, going forward as well, powerful. What have you made of him so far? And what more, uh, especially given his age, do you think he can, he can still do? Yeah, maybe starting on, on, on Ribeiro, we <clears throat> we can't control the narrative of the general public. But sometimes it is true that he hangs on to the ball a little bit too much and it does not vary his game the way we would like him to vary it. But that is part of his major strengths because sometimes when he takes people on and scores, we are all celebrating. So it, it will always be difficult. That is why a player should play with a very clean and open mind. Because exactly what you are saying today, because there's been a lot of criticism about him hanging on to the ball. Uh, the first chance he got after dribbling inside with his left foot immediately, you know, he's taking a shot there. But because now he's trying to, be, to please uh, the public, to please the general opinion, he ends up deciding to pass or try something else which is not his strength because uh, his element of surprise is, is what makes him the player that he is. And that is why we, we expect him to help us uh, with his dribbles. They are very important to the team. Uh, though it, it is also important for him to vary his game from time to time so that uh, opponents cannot read exactly what he's going to do. And that is, that is uh, the issue. And on Tiwani, I think is I, I said it from the beginning of the season uh, amongst the coaches that I think we, we are in for it here. This boy is going to surprise a lot of people because he's got the right game intensity for his age, very strong uh, physically uh, for his age and technically very good uh, with a very big engine, but surprisingly tactically very away. And that for me is, is, is probably my biggest surprise in a player like him. And I, I think the coaches who worked with him before, even from Sikukune, must be congratulated for the good work that they did on that boy. Because I really believe he's going to be a very big player for Sundowns this year.